In this video we're looking at starting the Cessna 172, a four seat, single engine, high wing aircraft. We will review the electrical system and indications, and the operation of the engine. The split rocker avionics master switch controls power to avionics bus 1 and avionics bus 2. Avionics master, off. In the off position power is removed from the avionics bus. The avionics buses are connected to the primary bus bars which are on when the master switch is in the on position. The avionics buses are off to prevent power spikes from damaging the avionics equipment. Fuel selector valve, both. Fuel flows by gravity from the two wing tanks through the selector valve and onto the reservoir tank. The fuel selector valve should be in the both position for takeoff, climb and landing. Operation from either the left or right tanks is reserved for crews. Fuel flows from the reservoir tank through the auxiliary fuel pump, past the fuel shutoff valve to the fuel strainer and onto an engine driven fuel pump. Fuel shutoff valve, on. In the on position, fuel flows through the auxiliary fuel pump and to the fuel strainer. In the off position, fuel does not pass the fuel shutoff valve. Throttle, open one quarter inch. The throttle controls the amount of air delivered to the engine cylinders. When the throttle is closed, the piston is sucking against resistance. Airflow increases as the throttle is opened. Mixture, idle cutoff. The mixture control is used to set the amount of fuel added to the intake airflow. The master switch is a split rocker type. The left half controls the alternator and the right controls battery power to the aircraft. The battery can be turned on separately to check equipment while on the ground, but normally both sides of the switch are used simultaneously. An essential bus provides power for the master switch, annunciator circuits, and interior lighting. Master, on. The primary electrical buses are on, drawing power from a 24 volt battery located on the left forward side of the firewall. The ammeter gauge indicates the amount of current in amperes from the battery to the electrical system or from the alternator to the battery if the engine is operating and the electrical load does not exceed the output of the alternator. The ammeter is currently indicating the battery discharge rate. The low oil pressure annunciator is illuminated. The engine is lubricated with aviation grade oil drawn from the engine sump through an oil suction strainer screen and into the engine driven oil pump. Oil pressure is below 20 psi. The left and right vacuum annunciators are illuminated. The vacuum system provides suction required to operate the attitude and directional indicators. The system includes two engine driven vacuum pumps. The normal suction range is 4.5 to 5.5 inches of mercury. 
If pump output falls below 3.0, the amber annunciators illuminate. Flashing beacon, on. The beacon is drawing approximately 5.5 amps from the electrical system, increasing the battery discharge rate. Auxiliary fuel pump, on. The auxiliary fuel pump is used to prime the engine, pumping fuel directly into the induction system. Mixture, full rich. Set to idle cutoff position when stable fuel flow is indicated. Auxiliary fuel pump off. Ignition start. In the spring loaded start position, the starter contactor is closed and the starter begins to draw electricity from the battery. The starter gear begins to spin, catching the flywheel, which begins to turn the connected propeller and crankshaft. The turning crankshaft moves the pistons up and down the cylinders, while the magnetos fire a spark to the spark plugs, which ignites the fuel-air mixture. The ignition switch is released when the engine starts, and it then automatically returns to the both position. Mixture, rich. The turning crankshaft drives a belt attached to the alternator. The rotating belt rotates a magnetic core inside wiring, producing electrical current. The 28 volt alternator then powers the electrical system while also charging the 24 volt battery. The low voltage enunciator activates when voltage falls below 24.5 volts for example during a low RPM taxi. The ammeter is now indicating the battery charging rate. Oil pressure, check. Minimum oil pressure is 20 PSI. Maximum oil pressure is 115 PSI. Navigation light, on. Avionics Master, on. Radios, on. We are now ready to begin the before takeoff procedure. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.